everyone all right so we are let's do the uh, year week ahead all right because i have to be in the road again all right we'll be starting with aries i still have to do the leo i know but you know just give me some time all right aries Creative endeavor. I'm sorry. All right, so this is the overall. You feel stuck, okay? It's like there is something that you want to free yourself from. Um, there is, you know who you're, who you're destined to be with. All right, but the problem here is, could be that this person is not your usual type, or could be that you're wishing for something even better. But this is it, okay? Uh... Both of you, I feel like some of you are actually in a twin flame journey, but there's the runner and chaser. And the other one who is going through an obsession right now is the one that is carrying the load and the heavy burdens, okay? Although, you know, the good thing in this situation is that the man is no longer carrying the wands the wrong way, but he is actually carrying his burdens the wrong way. All right, he could just like lift up his finger and oh, lift up his head, sorry, and look in, look wherever he is going. He could, you know, like he could have just like let the kids, you know, walk by on his side and, you know, so that both of them can actually enjoy this journey, but it's not. He is, teach, he is teaching these kids to co-depend on him and yeah. He's actually carrying his load the wrong way. So there is someone that you're actually carrying right now, which is you're not supposed to be, or that you don't really have to, but you chose to, all right? There is somebody from the past that's been like probably undermining you. This person is a bully, probably that has a large uh, circle of friends, but this person that cannot, couldn't really stop thinking about you. Um, they've already slain a lot of people in the past. They're a heartbreaker. They could be dealing with another fire sign. And this person also has a lot of feelings for you, but for some reason, they want to, you know, it's like they, they are portraying this different side of them to other people. So, but they're stuck, okay? And somebody here could be like very creative, music and arts, all right? Um, somebody could be playing guitar, piano, cello, okay, or cello. Uh, yeah, and this person is like, you're going to be dealing with this person, all right, Ace of Swords. Wow, Aries, you're going to have a much stable, um, stable life, finances, all right? This person, if ever that you can make it through, because, you know, when you're actually in a twin flame journey, this is a very complicated situation, all right? Probably down the line, the two of you are still going to be together because, you know, but not all twin flames, okay, actually end up being together because there are some people that they especially the masculines that they are not really aware 
of what is really going on and for them since that they are the logical one and, and divine feminine is the spiritual one they are they keep on clashing the masculine feels like you're crazy you know like what the hell are you talking about so there are different ways of explaining things to the masculine without freaking them out or without them thinking that you're crazy or delusional okay um you have to let the situation flow on its own so if you can actually see this look the person that's actually on their knees or the one that's been like wooing the one that is gagged okay probably is the divine masculine because they are not really able to see what this connection is all about. So from what I can see here, do not um, do this the mundane way. Okay? Do not do this the normal way. You have to think of something, you know, to make the masculine get closer to you instead of pushing them away. It's much better for you to, you know, when you finally meet and have your, um, have your final union. <clears throat> um, do the normal thing that people do, you know, like dating and stuff like that. Do not complicate things by saying too much spiritual stuff because the masculine will just see you as you're crazy or delulu. Okay, but when the two of you are finally like comfortable, sit down together and you finally become one like Mandarin ducks, that's the time that you should open up your spirituality to them. Okay, so that this person won't resist you and won't complicate the situation. Financially, there is um, there's an unexpected offer that's going to be coming your way. Some of you, there is also an unexpected investment that will be blowing or ballooning you know, um, in an unexpected way, and you're going to be very happy, okay? But for now, you need to concentrate on the things that you need to do first. Taurus, finding courage. Some of you needs to say something, make a choice, choose a path, all right? All right, so you could have a travel, all right, and some of you could be thinking of moving into a new home, relocating, could be getting married, yeah. Probably you're going to try, I hope that you're going to be marrying the right person. All right, some of you are also going to sit down and be with this person okay some of you you're actually juggling since that the two of pentacles are here you might actually ended up marrying the wrong person and then ended up regretting your decision because the person that you really love that you're supposed to be with is this person from the past okay and this is your real destiny Whoever this is, okay, if ever that you're going to be marrying someone, that relationship is just going to end up in a disaster, okay? Just for you to probably prove to other people that you are marrying the right person and avoiding the other one that is your true soulmate because you feel like this person is, it's like you do have a lot of doubts and stuff like that and you feel like I'm just listening to my intuition. Actually, you're not listening to your intuition, you're listening to your fears, Paranoia is different from intuition. So what's, you know, like what I said, look at this. What's going to happen is that the person that you're going to end up with in the wrong way, the one that you're going to be marrying that you thought is actually right for you, will end up betraying you. Worse, okay, worse, is that you might end up losing a lot. That you might have to start all over again. So, yeah, look at this. 
the person that you might end up with in a in a wrong way might affect your stability and finances okay be careful and do not be so egocentric right now that probably that even if you are established you do have a lot of money in the bank and you feel like oh that's never going to happen you know i can live perfectly in 10 years without even lifting a finger to work times are changing like what i said okay do not be so confident or cocky and say like oh you know like i i you know like i don't believe you you know but I'm telling you you end up with the wrong way or with the wrong par partner or wrong person it will be bringing you a lot of disaster okay because sometimes you know let's say for example that you're attracted to something that looks really yummy smells good you know probably it's a chocolate candy or something but when once you break the the uh, exterior you know the covering and you find it empty so what's going to happen you lost your money and then there's nothing you can eat it's the same anyway there is also uh, a success that's going to be coming in your way when you travel if you're going to be traveling or there's an upcoming travel that will be yielding you good results some of you might actually be migrating and you're going to be very happy because this is what you really need so find the courage okay gemini true love true love is self-love you're looking for the love that you cannot find from other people only you can give that to yourself when you're finally whole that's the only time that you can find somebody that will love you as you because if you don't love yourself don't expect that other people will also love you the way you wanted it to be okay do not look for whatever that is missing in you to other people Okay, Gemini. If you're not going to change your lifestyle, you're going to go broke. Some of you right now feels like, oh, I have money. I have this. I have that. Could be that you have three benefactors. Okay. Uh, you got yourself a cougar or you got yourself like a, like a sugar daddy or whatever. And you feel like it's okay, you know, like I'm going to be fine. Probably some of you are dealing with three people. But you need to rise up, you know, into the occasion as you. Into your own power, not into someone else's power. Okay? You need to rise up on your own. And you will also have that happiness that you have been looking for. You also need to guard down your finances, your cornucopia, okay, your um, your resources, okay. You're going to be meeting someone that will love you as you. Somebody who will love you for who you are, not for what you have. And because this is, you know, this is what you are so adamant about. Um, probably that some of you have a lot of money or that you have this rich resources and stuff like that and you feel like people see me for what i have for my possession that's why you have to hide who you truly are but you will find somebody that will love you for as you for, you know that will love you for who you are and as you not for what you have and you don't do it because you know like you'll find your true love here okay now when it comes to your finances there is something from the past that will be giving you success or you're expecting that you're going to be successful uh, when it comes to this could be it's a it's an investment all right 
but be very careful okay it might just be uh like an illusion all right some of you are also thinking about going back to school um some of you could also be like uh, looking into going for some training licensure you know something like you need acquiring new knowledge and you need to be careful with some people that will be attacking you this week okay so you're going to try to be happy also be if you have a child that's you know like it's not your teenager uh probably 12 below or 40 low be careful of this person be careful of this child getting lost okay or probably somebody will just like take them and dump them somewhere guard down your your kids all right cancer deception All right, uh, cancer, 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 someone's stealing from you. If you are already with somebody, this person is most likely having an affair with someone. They have secret messages, okay? There are a lot of ways, you know, where you can keep your messages in a secret folder. But I feel like you will be led to discover something. Okay? Yeah. Deception. First off, someone is stealing from you financially. Someone is trying to take money from you, take something from you, take your, I don't know, maybe steal something that is of value to you. And you already know about this. Okay? Because we got the deception here. Look okay we got the deception so you need to while you're working while you're at work this person is thinking of running away or traveling leaving the, your family behind but they can't because they feel like you have the authority or you have the control so you also feel trapped in this relationship. It's not just them. So if I were you, I'm Cancer, let this person go. They're nothing but a big burden to you and a liability. Okay? Not to mention that they keep on pulling you down. Now, to some of you, when it comes to finances and money, all right, still, be careful of somebody stealing from you. Be careful of someone. This could be like a neighbor whatever they can see inside, whatever they can see in your backyard, in your porch. Do not leave anything valuable near the window, porch, outside the garden, or something like that, okay? You have somebody around you that cannot be trusted and that actually jumps over the fence. So if some of you can actually move into a whole new different location, better. If not, then probably increase your security, okay? Uh, some of you are also going to be moving into a new office, new company, new position. There will be some changes in your workplace. Some of you are also going to be relocating. Leo. I don't want to say this, but please be careful with your pet. Guard down your pet. If you have to not let them out the house, let them out of the house, do it. Okay? Especially if you have like small dogs or, or something like that. Okay? If you have a big dog, that's not a problem. It's the smaller ones. Okay, it could be a cat as well.
All right, Leo. There will be a tower moment, all right, that you're going to feel. There will be a disappointment. And then for you, it's like, I have to start all over again. Look at this. This person is actually falling from the tower. And then for him to start all over again, he needs to reach to the top again, but start from the bottom. Okay. So you're waiting. You're waiting for life to change. You're waiting for something to change. Um... I mean, you're going to go back to how you used to be, okay, positively. Um, your finances will also get even more established. There will be a lot more happiness. Your life is not just going to be garnished by pentacles, but will also, you know, be garnished with uh, several things that can make you happy, all right? And I feel like you're also going to be in the limelight. There is someone who secretly envy you. So just be careful of this person's influence and do not even bite the apple. Okay, you also have a sibling probably that is like very envious of you and they're the one who's always in your ear. So be careful of that. Some of you are also grieving over a loss or you're wallowing over what's spilled. But in overall, you're going through a transformation. All right. Some of you could actually be like operating a business. That business is not really doing well. You feel like you're just paying more, more than what you're gaining or earning. Some of you are going through an awakening. Okay. Virgo, the honoring path. All right, you're waiting for things to change and things around your life will also be, you know, like lifting up or changing. So you have a certain lifestyle, okay? You see, here's the thing. You came out in your own reading, okay? You need to be on your own. Stop listening to what other people are whispering into your ear. Okay? Now, your things are going to be changing. There is an upcoming change that is actually pending, you know, right now, probably. But you also have a brand new beginning that awaits you. You have to listen to your intuition. Do not be so hasty or do not rush into anything without any plans you're also planning to sneak to see or probably meet someone that's always on your mind okay but for some reason i don't know it's like you are doing something to somebody in a very sneaky way in a negative way, I don't feel like you should do this. You don't know who you're dealing with. All right, leave it alone. If you're planning to, I don't know, I, I don't want to say harm, but if you're planning to probably, yeah, I don't know, like cast a spell or do something to somebody because you feel like they're also doing something to you, don't. Because not everything is all about black, black magic and spells, okay? You need to do, you need to be in your honoring path. Do the right thing. Um, some of you, you're also going to be very disappointed. Look at this. You're also going to be very disappointed with your family and friends, with the so-called friends that you thought actually have your back. But unfortunately, they're just going to bring you nothing but a big tower moment. Even your family. Okay. You're going to be discovering something. So the advice here is you have to be on your own. Listen to your own discernment and listen to your own intuition, not to what other people are telling you. All right. Libra. Get rid of partnership. Wow. You're going to find yourself new relationship.
Wow, 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 wow. You. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let me finish the spread, okay? All right. Libra, you have gone through a severe betrayal from a fire sign that cost you not just money loss, but a lot, okay? And right now, you are walking with demonic attachments. Before healing, you need to lose, uh, you need to lose these attachments. When you say demonic attachments, it's not, you know, it's not always like literally demons. Although, you know, drinking is actually, you know, like a, there's a spirit of, you know, uh, I mean, there's a demonic uh, influence behind that. So you, some of you could be like launching into overeating, uh, indulging, drinking, partying, having sex here and there. I don't know, something that is that you are doing excessively. So some of it could be procrastinating because you feel like, you know, your energy is so heavy. Because like what I said, you do have some entities that are actually clinging on to you. You have to blind them and you have to burn them with your light by being positive, increasing your vibration. All right. You need to increase your vibration. Look at this. So you're going to be moving. Some of you, either you're going to be moving, you just move, you're going to be upgrading your appliances and furniture. You have an upcoming connection. Okay, this person is somebody from the past, or it could be that you've had a past life connection with. There will be love, you know, the first time that you're going to see each other. This person could be well-traveled as well. And this is the person that you're going to have um, family with. I feel like that this is the person that will also be bringing back whatever you have lost in the past, especially that you have gone through a breakup or like a betrayal with somebody from the past, which is a fire sign. Now, the person that you're going to be with is a water sign or, you know, like don't be so gung-ho with the with zodiac signs, okay? Sometimes it's only the energy that probably they are very much in touch with your emotions or probably that they are just like... um emotional or it could be that they're you know op their heart is open you know like whatever it is they're very much in touch with their emotions and this person is the one that will be bringing back your financial stability your foundation okay so don't be scared if this person because down the line you're going to be like doubting this person's intention no this is this is your um this is your person okay and you need to heal first before getting into a relationship your finances by the way will get better last two weeks of the month if you're so worried about your finances, you're so worried about, you know, whatever it is that you need to do or, or something. Scorpio. The vast universe. Sky's the limit for you. Okay. Okay, Scorpio, you're going to be in the limelight. You're going to have like 15-minute fame. Let's see. Wow. You're going to have a new job or you're going to have a, a promotion that is going to be upcoming. And you're going to be shining. People will be like, wow, Scorpio, congratulations. 
all right so if you're gonna be like a lot of people are gonna be praising you and you feel like that this is what you really want however do not be disillusioned by this because probably that the success that you're actually celebrating is just the first step the steepy mountain all right whatever it is that you want to achieve you still have a long way to go okay so do not celebrate the fans family wise uh some of you needs to save okay or you're very frugal okay you're very conscious about the money that you want to save now your person is like no you know that's why you're working we need to enjoy our lives you know we need to have fun and go on a vacation and splurge and like this and like that but the thing here is no because we are actually in a very unstable economy and everything seems to be you know unstable so yeah. your person is not going to be cooperating with you and this is what will keep you stuck all right you're going to be a little bit disappointed because their way of thinking and the way they make a decision is so different from you but for you it's like we may never know you know like probably we can go on a vacation but not for now and your person is like no that's why i've been working my ass off for one full year and i just needed this vacation it's like you're gonna be like going back and forth back and forth like you know like let's spend the money that we save and for you it's like no let's save the money that we save okay so but in overall scorpio you have an upcoming victory success and money resource it's just that right now i feel like you are being realistic and there is nothing wrong with that you're being practical what you're doing is actually right all right Sagittarius increase there will be an increase mm -hmm. All right, Sag, you need to follow your intuition, okay? Someone is a man-eater. <laughs> Someone is actually a slayer or somebody is too heartless. You're dealing with someone who is very experimental, curious, plays mind games. But whatever this is, this is going to be over. Okay, somebody needs to step up into their own power, real power. Loving it, okay, with the Ace of Cups. You need to use your intuition about somebody that you probably you feel like this person is, they're hiding something, or it could be that they're a collector of jar of hearts, okay? So this person for you seems so heartless. They're very abundant. You could be dealing with an earth sign. They're very abundant, st stable, okay? This person is like, they feel like they can do whatever it is to other people because probably that they have the resources. But things are finally going to be coming to an end. Something is about to transform. Something is also about to get back into balance. This person's arrogance is finally going to be turning into a whole new different direction. Probably you leave for them. So... Be careful of somebody from the past, probably another fire sign that is just like playing tricks on you. Someone who's actually a thief. Okay, there is somebody else from the past that will be coming back into your life. This person had taken a lot of things from you. That during those times that, you know, this is, some, this is an ex. During those times that you were still together and every time that they go home, they take something little by little from your stuff and you're not really paying attention you don't really notice it but this person has been um stealing things from you okay so this person might actually come back around probably like a fake apology but block them okay settle i mean just give them 
what it is that they need. It could be that they need you, they, they they want to say forgiveness, they want to apologize, whatever it is, closure, give it to them, cut them off, burn the bridges. Okay? Because sometimes, you know, actually I keep on saying this. The forgiveness is not for other people. It is actually for you. Let go of that burden. Do not give them extra space in your life. Okay? So, financially, I feel like things are going to be um, coming around for you. Or things are also going to be getting better. Capricorn. A loving woman. Either you're going to find yourself very loving, someone is already in love with you, someone is falling in love with you, or vice versa. Okay? But you need to make a decision. Some of you are still in a very toxic environment or a toxic relationship. Someone is just like playing tricks on you. All right. Somebody wants you to think more about them than them to you. So someone might actually be using some spells some magical stuff probably some love potion or love spells all right wow look at this okay capricorn see look at this you are gonna be stuck this week working and oh my god when you are actually stuck work stuck working you are going to be stuck with a lot of money, okay? But you need to make a decision about somebody around your life that's been... This is though you have a secret enemy. You know, sometimes the person that we are with, you know, obviously some of the people will not believe this, but they're going to say like, why would your person do that to you? You know, like there's love and like this and like that. But sometimes you're not really on the same page with a person, especially nowadays that people get married out of convenience and companionship not for you know that for the love itself so you have somebody okay this is something that will be shown to you you have somebody that is actually doing something to you probably for you to go down this is your secret enemy probably that this person is like plotting down because they cannot you know, be in your level it's time for you to cut it off all right it's not that easy because sometimes the reason why people have a hard time cutting off somebody or someone is because of guilt before i actually start the uh, you know this forecast recording i saw this story about vin, vin diesel uh that he you know, he parted ways with his partner but he is actually worried about their living conditions so what he did was he is the one who moved out of the house okay and he just lived there by could be because of the kids and he supported everything you know he supported all of their needs and everything and then his partner actually had a um uh like an accident uh right after shopping and needed some blood works so he donated it and they get back together okay so the thing here is with the unconditional love sometimes you just need to detach yourself in order for you to regain Whatever you feel like is already diminishing or is already like, you know, siphoning out of your energy. If this person you feel like is still good for you, probably just go and find yourself. But if you feel like this person, you're, especially if you're dealing with a narcissistic one, let it go. And I know it's not that easy to free yourself up from a narcissist or a narcissistic relationship. Okay, I've, I've been a survivor of a narcissistic abuse in the relationship for, you know, that relationship for like five and a half years. It's not that easy. And if somebody haven't really gone through a narcissistic abuse or relationship, they're not going to listen to you. They're just going to say like, leave it. You know, why can't you just leave? And then you keep on coming back to us, asking for advice, you know, because exactly the same thing that my friends also told me before. Why do you have to keep on coming back to that person? You know, and then you're going to come to us for advice. When we give you advice, you don't listen. Because it's not that easy to be in that kind of relationship. Okay? It's not that easy to let go. It's not a normal person that you're dealing with. So, here, you already know the answer to your problems, the solution. Now, you will also be traveling. Okay? It seems like probably during the Thanksgiving during the holidays, you're planning to go back home, all right, for you to, I don't know, maybe replenish or just for you to 
you know, but you're going to get stuck, you know, working. I feel like you're going to have a lot of work. Okay. Now, if you're going to be freeing yourself up from this toxic relationship, that's the only time that you're going to be meeting this loving woman. Someone is secretly in love with you. Someone is longing for you, but they cannot really make any move because you're still in a relationship. Aquarius family. Somebody could have, somebody wants to have a family, want to have kids. Somebody's thinking of settling down. Some of you, your family is actually at the top of your mind. The high priestess is very prominent, you know, in this um, reading. If there is something that your intuition is telling you, walk away from that. Leave. Okay. See? You have somebody that's been betraying you. I got the, ace, the, the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords. You're dealing with someone who's very toxic. It's time to come to an end. Some of you are going to be ending a relationship. There's, an, there's a relationship that's going to be ending. Or you're finally coming to the last chapter of your lives together. Of your the pages of your lives. Okay, This relationship did nothing but to cut you off. But to, you know, endure a lot of pain, heartbreak, and, you know, whatever. It's time for you to cut it off. You thought that this is actually what you really want. And you thought that this is what you really need. But unfortunately, you have been blindsided. Okay, you've been blinded by this person. And this person actually has a lot of demonic attachments, by the way. Especially if you keep on feeling like you're always sick. Your finances are drained. Everything. So moving away and um, getting this person out of your life is the best thing that you could do if you want to save your family. This person is a slayer, okay? And you also have a um, lesson that you need to learn, all right? You are going to be getting married to somebody from the past or you've had the past life connection with, but not for now. You need to heal, okay? This has been affecting your finances as well. This person is draining the life out of you. You need to let it go. Okay. All right. Pisces. We'll be doing a collective right after this. Great achievement. All right, judgment. Pisces, you are stuck with someone that's been draining the hell out of you. It's not just life, it's everything, even your soul. And this person has been sneaking right behind you. Now, things are going to be coming out in the open, or is things are going to be resurfacing or coming out of the surface. Uh, and the truth about this person. And this is more of a lesson for you to learn. Now, for you to save yourself and for you to save your, um, you know, for you to save your family, you need to address the real concern here. You're going to find out that this person has been doing something right behind you. I'm seeing a poison. Could be that this person is poisoning you, poisoning your potential, or doing something to, you know, do something to you. But whatever it is, this person is not really good for you. All right. So. And try to spend more time with your kids or your family. 
and try to do a little bit of an experimentation you have to go through a certain um changes this person that you're with let it go because this person is actually poisoning the great achievement or the person that you're supposed to be at the gen b this person is so threatened of your potential all right let's do a collective Magnetic connection. There is a very strong pull and intensity that draws you to this person. Stay optimistic, positive thinking, and faith will bring romance into your life. You have somebody that lives at a distance or could be that is being distant to you. That's been weighing down your energy. And this person is actually the one who's been causing you or sending you the spirit of delay. Okay. So if you've been wondering, why is it that, my, you know, like my energy is so heavy? You know, you feel like there's like a, like there's like shackles in your, in your, um, in your feet. You got a new love coming in. Okay. Now, you do have a magnetic connection, but you need to stay optimistic. This person lives at a distance. So, some of you, if you're out in a relationship, this might start out as a clandestine affair, okay? Or, you know, you can be honest. Um, some of you needs to be honest that you're out in a relationship, or some of you needs to be honest with your, with your person that it's, you know, there's not enough love to keep this alive. So you got true love coming in, you're, you are enough, and you need to redirect your thoughts. At present, you might be facing some difficulties, leaving your fears behind and your guilt, but you will be thankful later on, okay? So there is something that you have to make a decision about in order for you to keep on moving on. All right, so let's take a look. What is the situation of you collective? All right, dealing with somebody from the past, the year is stuck. Yeah, this is going to be coming to an end. All right, somebody has been weighing you down. Somebody's been, okay, you have a person, okay, that you thought is actually your person or the right one for you. Every time that you are mentally or emotionally connected to this person, it slows you down. And this person is actually sent your way. You know, it's a test. This actually, this person has been sent your way to slow you down. Because they have a very uh, heavy energy, okay? Um, some of you are also going to be moving into a new place or new home. You're going to be moving. But with you being stuck, you're finally pulling yourself out of this. And this is, you know, this month of November, you're going to be coming out into a whole new era, a whole new energy. Whoever this is, you're going to be leaving them behind and it's already done. You are also going to be getting what you want, fi you know, finances, communications, business picking up, work picking up, investments whatsoever. And someone is going to be, when you, whoever it is that you're going to be leaving behind, will be heartbroken and will realize that they love you. But be very careful because this is like a trick. Once you leave this person, you're going to start noticing that something has been, you know, something's been lifted up. You feel so good and great. You're no longer blocked. You feel more, you know, inspired to do things. You're, you feel more creative. So this person will still be thrown your way for one last time just to see if you have already learned your lesson. So you need to love yourself first. There is a brand new connection. That's going to be coming your way. Something that you truly deserve more more than this person. This person is very arrogant. Uh, I don't see much age difference. But probably that this person is very insecure, immature, childish, um, arrogant. Um, Self-centered. Narcissistic. Okay. So your financial stability will be improving once you... 
move away from this person cut it off okay you know sometimes when people keeps on hurting you let them hurt you do not avoid it let them hurt you you know like you just feel the pain because you know why that's the only time that you're gonna realize like wow i am invincible okay so you're going to be growing out of it. You're going to get even more stronger because of that. You're going to learn how to love yourself more, respect yourself more. And whatever this connection actually brings to you, it is like you're on the right path. But you're actually being shown into a whole new different level, okay, of a connection to yourself. So whoever this person is that you were stuck with you thought that this actually is your soulmate yeah probably that there you have some soulmate connection or whatever it is but not for now let this person grow let this person suffer on their own do not give out your energy anymore because when you gave out your energy to this person they became somebody because of you so you gotta pull the plug and this person will be suffering how they have treated you in the past. Okay. You could be dealing with any other sign, but most of the signs are already here. So you got to pull the plug. Do not give out this person. This person is going to be coming back into your life, by the way. They're still going to try and get back in touch with you because they needed your energy. But did not give in. Probably talk to them. Give them a closure that they need. And like what I said, the closure actually happens when you have fully accepted everything. Not necessarily have to go through three months, years, whatever. And time doesn't actually heal. It just makes you forget about it. You have to face it. You have to deal with it. You have to accept that the reason why there are people that do not actually stay in your life is because you are not meant to be plain and simple as that. Okay? So this person is going to try to come back to you, probably down the line, because you have a past life connection. Okay, probably down the line, when this person has changed or when, you, when this person finally made the changes that they did, they will be allowed to get into your life. But the reason why this connection is so blocked, it's not really propagating, not really manifesting whatsoever, even though that both of you have feelings for each other, is because that this person will be draining the hell out of you. And you are supposed to heal, to grow, expand, and reach up to your higher self in full potential. But with this person being connected, they're going to control you, change your life, change your path, and veer you away from what you are destined to be and whatever your purpose is. All right? Anyway, I'll see you again in the next forecast. And if you want to talk to me, love the phone, love the calls, just visit me at my website, sdclearpoint.com. Also, if you want to get your own personal annual reading, um, you just need to... Um, it's much better for you to message me in my Instagram and I will tell you how to go about it. Okay. Anyway, have a great week. Blessings to you.